I'm in the house. Norway. <laughs> Did you come from Norway? No, I live in New York. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you, but you came from New York. Yeah. That's a haul. Well, yeah, it's a little. Uh, it's it's a six and a half hour flight. Yeah, and it's. Yeah. I've been there for the last three months. I just got home two days before Christmas, right before that freezing cold hit. So, how is it really possible to cheat on Jennifer Lopez? <sighs> oh, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know how my guy cheated on Jennifer Lopez. She's the whole package, isn't she? He, I think it was the drugs and booze uh, that he was, he was involved with. <laughs> that's the backstory that I created for my whole character. You won't see my character using any drugs or booze. But it must have been something. He had like something that. had to be going on because that's a great question. But you made TV history while someone was cheating on you in Sex and the City. That's right. Do you remember that day on the set there when Carrie told Aiden that she was cheating on him? I'm so sorry, Aiden. I don't know. I never meant to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I know. In the weird and strange part of my uh, uh, participation in Sex and City is just about all my scenes were with Sarah Jessica Parker and hardly anyone else. So for two seasons, it was just these two. You know, I think there were maybe one or two scenes where the other girls were around for a, a quick second. But uh, all my scenes were with just one person. And so uh, um, most of my memories are pretty fantastic of just working with this brilliant actor and great person. Who, do, who, do, you, do you ever watch the show when it's running on TV? Uh, I probably did five or six years ago. You know, it's, it's been 15 years. I started that show in 2000, and it's been 15 years. Uh, but maybe five, six years ago, I'd be flipping through the box, you know, at, at a quarter after whatever time it was, and there'd be 15 minutes of a show, and I'd probably watch it. Um, but I don't do too much uh, television surfing these days. Uh, but it, if I came across it and I didn't have much to do, I'd probably watch it because I'm surfing. I'm looking for something to watch. I just wish I didn't know about this. I just wanted to be honest with you. So do you think it's possible to forgive someone when they're cheating? Is it possible to move on in a relationship? Yeah, it has to. It, it, it's, uh, listen, it's a mistake. It's... Uh, when you when you marry someone, it's it, generally it's not the first person you've ever had sex with. You've probably had sex with quite a few people before you marry that person and take a vow to only have sex with them. So if you make a mistake, you're going to throw away 10, 15 years because you made a mistake and you had sex with somebody else. Uh, I don't see that. I don't see that as a reason to throw away a lifetime. Murder's a different subject. We're not talking about murder. I'm talking about you, you slept with somebody else. Now that whole life that you had before is over. That's why I've never been married. I, I thought th those those old rules of uh, uh, till death do us part and all that were just too harsh. Those are antiquated rules that I don't think people should live by. That's a bad contract. Is it, do, should you tell someone when you cheated on them or should you just like let them maybe discover it or not at all and just like try and move on? Is it worse when you're actually telling someone? Is it best to tell someone? I don't know. That's 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 like is it is it good to get chemo or not if you you're having cancer? It depends. There's a lot of there's a lot more questions to be asked. I don't think it's such a simple answer. Do people still come up to you in the street and 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 ask you about that? You think it's been 15 minutes yeah. in New York because just being there for the last three months, uh, it's like I'm still shooting the show there. I mean, I couldn't walk down Fifth Avenue without lots of heads turning and people asking for pictures. Usually I, I have to do the old star thing where I put a baseball cap on and, uh, and some sunglasses because it just gets to be, a, I won't get to the bookstore to buy my books if I go walking around looking like this in New York because everybody knows Aiden from Sex and the City. Yeah, I think they should have ended up together. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting.